It was good. We played some Battlefield One, and we did the uh, we did some commentary about the Bethesda. Who are you playing with? Stream Battlefield <laughs> One. <laughs> okay, we were playing with Wiz Khalifa, Terry Crews, Snoop Dogg, Zac Efron, Jamie Fox. Wait, Zac Efron? <laughs> There's so many people. What the there. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there was a lot of marijuana being passed around. I told it last night. <laughs> the thing that Bernie's not here, I'll just tell it for him. But basically. Someone decided to light up a joint, and every, all the gamers were in a line, two lines, and there were two teams. And the way the, a, the AC was all hooked up <laughs> meant that all of the smoke was just blowing down the lines <laughs> of gamers. And I was, like, there with Terry Crews and, like, some other guy next to me, and we were all just like... <sighs> and then I looked, looked over at Bernie. Bernie was on the other side. He was in a trifecta of... Some other guy, Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg, and oh the my. joint was being passed in like a triangle <laughs> with Bernie in the middle. And I looked up, it's and it like was just keep like keep away for adults. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie was high as shit, <laughs> passively from Snoop's lungs. <laughs> and I think if That's I was going to get honor. high, that would be the best way yeah. to do it. Yeah, get yeah, contact then, high off of Snoop yeah. Dogg. And then we went after that to do the stream for the Bethesda announcements, and Bernie was just eating everything. She was like eating all the snacks. He <laughs> <laughs> had the munchies for like three hours. Did he realize he was high? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was like, I'm high as shit. <laughs> it would be funny if he's like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> There's Bernie and Wiz. <laughs> <laughs> how did they, how are they allowed to bring that into the convention center? Look, he has 25 million followers on Twitter. They're not going to kick him out, right? That's how that works. Yeah, that's true. I feel like Snoop Dogg gets a pass. Yeah. In life. I mean, you just expect it. And that's kind of his thing, too. It's, you know, like, if he didn't do that. Yeah. Well, I thought all the cameras would look away. Like, ooh, you know, there's kids watching and stuff. But I guess it's not illegal there. And all the cameras were like, yeah, zoom in on that. And they were, like, posing for the cameras <laughs> like, with their joint. I was blown away. It was a hell of an experience. So if and the what... game is great. If I'm uh, goofing off during work, did Aaron ever tell you what we used to do when we were valets downtown? No. There was this guy who used to steal stuff. Did we tell you this? I, I've heard Wait, this story. so you were both valets at the yeah. same time? Mm -hmm. And Lynn, too, right? And Lynn, yeah. His brother? We were all is this free... all before Rooster Teeth? All before... No, it's during. We're still valets. <laughs> it's it's during we <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, just I'll get your car before the show's <laughs> over. Um, no, we had this guy uh, who was the overnight guy, and he used to steal stuff from everyone. Like, he stole my Girl Scout cookies one night. I was so mad. Like, I watched him walk. I had to go to the car and... So he wouldn't steal from cars. He would steal from valets. No, he would steal from cars, too. Oh. He, would, he, he didn't <laughs> he was draw... just an like, overall Yeah, theme. he was... Yeah, you know, he would, he would burn any bridge if he could, if he could, <laughs> could get off stealing something. Um, but Aaron and I, we ran experiments overnight. And so we would, we would, we gathered things and we would itemize them and we would hide them around the office to see what he would steal. <laughs> and so we would do like, we did increments of money one night. It was like, we had penny, we had like three pennies and a nickel and a dollar and we'd put them in and we'd chronicle them to see what was the lowest amount he would steal. How do you know it was him? Because he's the only one. Like, and we had the, the, we'd come in back in at 7 a.m. Did you hide GoPros? Do we fight? No, we're not that high tech. <laughs> Not um, yet. This is you yeah. This is it wasn't old, scorpion level. <laughs> this is old school like spy yeah. tactics. Um, but he uh, we had a uh, he broke a Chinese finger trap once. Like we left <laughs> it and he we found it in the trash broken. And so we we wrote this whole report. I'll show it to y'all sometime. But we wrote an entire report about our findings, and it was just like, <laughs> like it's just ridiculous. Like the Chinese finger trap we wrote uh, demonstrates non mastery of Chinese torture devices. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about the one with the candy bar? Yeah, so the yeah the candy bar is the best. So we 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 because he would steal food. He was predominantly a food thief, and so, so what, we because he could eat it and there'd be just, no evidence. Yeah, but we so we left a candy bar at the valet stand for him, and we came back like left left at eleven p.m. that night. Came back seven a.m. the next morning, and it was still there. And I was like, "There's there's no fucking way." Like that was that was you know, that was the biggest thing you could have left for. Mm -hmm. um, and I was looking at it during the morning shift, and I realized it was not the same candy bar. It was a, it was a double what? size of the same one. And I, I put this together through clues later. But at some point in the night, he had eaten this candy bar, <laughs> discarded it in the trash, and then to cover his tracks, had gone all the way into the hotel, stolen a candy bar. <laughs> stolen it yeah, from because there was too. still a gap in the candy bars, like from where he'd taken it and replaced it, thinking thinking with the he wrong got away. Size. Yeah, with the wrong size. That's some sloppy work. So yeah. he stole two candy bars. Basically. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's all in the report. So, yep. That's... What was his name? Lynn. 
It was not Lynn. I wish it was Lynn. I don't want to say his name. Why? Maybe he's, he's watching. Maybe he's watching right now. Do we know him? No. Oh, okay. No one knows him. Anyways, <laughs> did you confront him ever? No. It was too. It was too fun to do. Like the. It would have broken the illusion. I think. To, to... Was he? Do you think he was aware that you knew? No. No. <laughs> no. Not at all. No. Until he stumbled. Until he accidentally stole this report that you had typed up. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine yeah. him finding yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> That'd be like a like a, a Truman Show type discovery. <laughs> where it's like, what the? <laughs> you log like when he goes to the bathroom. Yeah, his lunch too. <laughs> it was good, and we did it. We had it all kind all kind of slant to it. Like we had like different action figures. Like we had a black baby and a white baby to see like which oh, one testing he would his take. racism. Yeah, we we're seeing. He didn't take either. So. Interesting. <laughs> what does that tell you? About? Yeah, he's not into action figures. No, mm-hmm. that must have been so fun to experiment with. Yeah, it's almost a shame you, you don't still do that with him. We can make you can just go back to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> just show up like five years later. <laughs> Maybe there's someone stealing at Rooster Teeth who we could do it to. Yeah, who could? Man, we yeah. could we could try and just push someone to steal and see if they could <laughs> see do who. Just start <laughs> tempting them with like dollar bills. Yeah, here. you start small. What if you could hire an employee and then some and one person like a t- like teach them that that's part of the culture. I thought you were going to say, like, we could hire one employee and everyone could steal from them. <laughs> <laughs> that would also be really How good. would you teach them that's the culture? Like, we're I all don't feral know. children? <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, oh yeah, that's one of the things. Anytime you want something, just yeah. take it. Like, if you see food, you have to eat it because you might be hungry later. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it'd also right. be like, it's totally cool. No one's going to get mad yeah. at you. The trash is up for grabs, too. Yeah, like, it just, like, teach them all these horrible practices. If anything is left on a flat surface, that means you could take it. And then do it in front of him so that he thinks it's okay. <laughs> and like everyone do but it's just your own laptop or yeah it, or or you maybe you'd have to do it as a group or something like right. a group work together to to teach them and then when they eventually get fired for stealing, they're like, I thought it was just the thing. That's a horrible, horrible thing. <laughs> you're tr- like, okay, that's a problem. Such a long play. <laughs> we don't even and know this guy's <laughs> position at the company. Yeah, you're going for the Nazi tree swastika there. <laughs> so if you get hired at Rooster Teeth, watch out. Look out for Chris trying to teach you things that aren't true. <laughs> Were you mad when I spotted the GoPro t- during the great scorpioning of 2015? I wasn't mad, Gavin. I was disappointed. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, uh, yeah, I, I don't know who told me, but someone told me you would be the best person to do that to, and I, apparently that was absolutely not true. So Gavin would be the yeah, best I, person because he, like, he knows people prank knows. each other. Well, yeah. the, thing, the annoying thing was I was sat down eating whatever breakfast I was having, and I looked straight into the lens. I was like, hmm. And I was like, oh, there's the scorpion. Damn it. I really haven't delivered on this performance. <laughs> it's hard to pretend, though. But that's the Would worst you when, you, and... when you do like a big setup for someone and they don't react. No. Yeah. There, there were other people that, that didn't, it didn't phase at all. Like Ellis, or, um, Gilby, Adam, Adam Ellis, we did it too. And it just, it was nothing. Like, also Lindsay too. She was just like, is this it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that one worked pretty well because that one was in the the break room, so that got a bunch of people. I like, also saw you put room. one on my desk. I did put one. Yeah, yeah you, you weren't here. You were out. You weren't here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was probably the person most afraid of that thing. Like, yeah. do you remember the email I sent you that morning? Yeah, because you were like, "Is this serious?" Like, you were. I was literally like, "I am not coming to work until you." Find <laughs> <this."> <laughs> well, I let you know Paco in animation, who worked on Till the Roosters with me. Um, I had I le- had to let him know because he's even during. Shooting Tim Little Roosters, he was deathly like wouldn't be in the same room. Yeah, with I him. remember that. And so I had to let him. Is know he allergic to it or something? Or no, you just scared of just, it? just deep fear. Was it a lethal scorpion? No, it couldn't kill you. I don't think we would keep that. I mean, it could as still aren't pet. All it could scorpions st- lethal? No, lethal think... being like it'll kill you. I mean, it would hurt, but not bad. It'd be like a bee sting. That's still the only scorpion I've ever seen. I've never seen one in the wild. I've There's seen a little... bunch in Texas, the little yellow ones. Know. Those are yeah, worse. Yeah, the little mini ones are yeah. apparently are more dangerous. Those are worse than, yeah. Than and those big... you, people find in, like, their sink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And I'm like... My, my biggest fear is the... I don't think there's any in Texas, but the bugs that live under the toilet seat and, like, bite your knob when it comes down. So. Ooh. Oh. And Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and this toilet seat. can't snakes. tell if it's knob or ball set. <laughs> But can I can you tell imagine by the hair. If, if you were a snake swim, swimming up someone's U bend and then you just saw like a packet of testicles just hanging there, it would be like the ripest fruit to bite. <laughs> I, 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 I think if I came up a toilet, I would bite a scrotum just because it looks so. It's like I gotta, I gotta bite it. It's, it's right. like it's yeah. It's, it's like, like when you fight like a like a boss in a video game. It's like they're weak. They yeah, have like the thing and it'd be like hanging. red and swollen yeah, as the boss gets yeah. more injured. I always think about people tuning into the podcast at certain moments, <laughs> 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 like when you're just like just hanging there, like all delicious. Like I'd bite a scrotum. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just not an angle I've seen. I've never seen balls hanging inside a toilet You're from the inside. Much. Speaking of biting, <laughs> speak what bevs in it. Maybe we did go for a walk around a museum. Yeah, well, that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that that's not, really bring an out. It was an outdoor museum. It wasn't like quiet. Okay. Uh, Isn't we like we we we're not actually gonna get tickets to the museum. We're just gonna walk around it. Yeah, it was really weird on our date to the library. <laughs> Where there was we weren't allowed to no talk. That was the problem. I think that was part of the problem. Was, Some old bitty kept shushing us. <laughs> <laughs> the, I uh, man, I a Tinder date where it's like, I was, I was like iffy on like meeting up anyway because like oh, some of these pictures that girls cute and some i was like i don't know we met up and immediately i i was just not interested in partly because when she introduced herself she sounded like a 60 year old smoker yeah i think she i think she lied about her age hey, Chris, it, that's, over here that's exactly kids. what i don't remember it's like hey my name. oh my god it's like, hey nice to meet you it's like, hey. oh. and uh and she just what you know like wasn't as like didn't look like her pictures right. or yeah, looked anyway. So we're like, oh my god, like them either. <laughs> no, did not. Well, I was like, we'll have a drink or two, a polite Are you drink catch or two. A drink? <laughs> we, kept, we, we caught a drink, and then I I ordered a beer. We drank a movie, <laughs> <laughs> and she ordered a beer and and, and two shots. Dude, can I get two shots of whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> and, <a> cigar. <laughs> and I was like, I it was just like also like a Tuesday night. I was not like I didn't want to take shots. It wasn't like a party night. No. Right. But which is good because these two shots came out and she took both of them. It's <laughs> like doop doop. It's like, hey, you wanna go outside for a cigarette? <laughs> I was like, no. You should be like, you smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out, we're out. I'm like drinking my I'm just kinda like, how long can I stay here politely without like being rude? Um you like checking your watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, you know. But uh, uh, we're talking, and um, subject to travel came up, and she, I was like, "Well, where's the coolest place you've ever been to?" And she's like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> probably. If I had to pick any, probably Australia. <laughs> Aust Australia's crazy." I was like, "That's yeah, I Australia's. I've been to Australia before. Where, where in Australia did you go?" And she's like, "New Zealand." <laughs> oh. oh, so she sounded like that and she was dumb? And I was like, you mean you went you you went to New Zealand and Australia? She's like, no, I went to New Zealand, Australia. <laughs> like, as in it was like a city or a state or something in Australia. Maybe there's a tiny village called New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept trying to correct her. I was like, so, you know, like, where did you... Uh, and she kept correcting me. It's like, no, I went I went to Australia. <laughs> and then uh, so I was like, well, what? why did you go to Australia? <laughs> I were like, what did you do? It's like, I, I didn't really do much. I was just like, I was only there for three days. And I was, it was just, I was like, why, why, why the hell would you go to Australia for three days? And she's like, oh, eh, there's a stripper convention. <laughs> we were just doing a bunch of drugs. <laughs> and then, then. Where did, you, where did you meet this woman? I Tinder. How old is this I, woman? I don't know because I think she lied about her age. What did she, give us like a picture. I'm not, well, like, okay, imagine like. An attractive lady, and then add twenty years of drugs and smoking, mm. and then that the that's the, that's her. And you couldn't and tell in her, in her pictures. No, because I don't think they were like recent pictures. Oh. I think they were like oh, I think they were older pictures of her <laughs> in Australia, you know? New Zealand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they were older pictures of her, and then they'd been like you know. I'd like to. I would like to find her profile and see that she's like I, smoking I, crack in one picture and like <laughs> doing coke in no, another. Was, and you're like, I don't know what. <laughs> I unmatched with her with her on Tinder like. It's before I left my car on the way home. Yeah. It's rough. <laughs> it's a terrible story. What's your best for- Oh, so good. I was like, you're damn right I know your name, you he, prick. He just wants to play the victim. Oh, yeah. I like Daniel. He's class. <laughs> he just uh, was with you. Was he with you in India? No. Oh. <laughs> I <thought> he was. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> Matt was. Matt Haynes. Yeah. The guy who directed the connected doc also did the doc with you and Bernie. Was that in your house? They like filmed in your house? Yeah. What was that like? It was fine. They were only there for, you know, a couple hours each day. It wasn't all day every day. You're looking for the bottle? You don't care about yes. your space though, really. Like we filmed, we filmed some of that Bare Naked Ladies video in your apartment while you weren't there. Yeah. It was weird. Like, I don't know why you would let us do that. Because I don't really have anything private. Yeah, Although I did like get really pissed off. Why? Because I was watching the footage of that video, and you're in my apartment in one scene, mm -hmm. and there's a basket of laundry behind you, and that's my laundry basket, <laughs> full of my laundry. 
<laughs> that I purposely put in the laundry room, like closed the doors so that <laughs> nobody someone would... was probably like, oh, we need some fodder for this room. But it was my dirty laundry, <laughs> like <laughs> right behind you. And I was like, somebody touched... That's why touched... I wouldn't ever let someone film in my place. Because I don't want thought... people snooping around. Yeah, I was or just like... like moving stuff. I was like, here's my apartment, like... You should have what you need here. Like I assume you guys need a bed and a couch and all that stuff to film it. Why would you need a laundry basket? <laughs> like that doesn't I, run through my head. I, I I don't know. Were you there? I was there. I'm not gonna take credit <laughs> it was for you. Laundry. I was in the laundry. <laughs> Did you take my no, laundry no, 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 basket? No. I'm not no. I was there. So I don't that remember scene where the they made me sniff it all. That was dirty laundry. <laughs> 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 you got cut, but <laughs> <laughs> you just gag your own laundry. Yeah, no, just like the idea of someone smelling your laundry. It's like that makes me very uncomfortable. No, he only smelled the clean laundry. So yeah, yeah. All my laundry's clean. I don't sweat or stink or anything. Sweet. You don't sweat. I'm Dude, hey, I have a question. Oh. Dude, yeah. Yeah. So, do has do girls ever smell dudes' laundry, like as a thing? What? Like a sexual thing? Yeah. Like, would you ever be like, smells? Uh, like, how often do you get off on Aaron's laundry? That's the... Well, the is, I guess what I'm what? saying is the smell of a dude's junk, like, a turn-on. No. No. A smell of a dude's, like, pheromones are. Like, But that's attached to his junk. I'm talking... I mean, like... <laughs> I'm not talking about junk pheromones. Do dudes uh -huh. have pheromones? Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. usually comes from their hair. Chest hair, top of the head. What if you don't have chest oh, hair? I, right? I must have more pheromones than anyone. <laughs> Jeez. Where, where's the <laughs> bottle? I don't know. You took you it. You took it. Did I? You took it and then didn't it's use it. It's on the ground. <laughs> so it's in that chest? I th I think Do you try it's and just sniff I, it's chests? everywhere. Pheromones are everywhere. Well, that's why, you, I mean, like you probably force. have ex experienced this a lot with girlfriends or girls that you've, like, cuddled with. They where they sleep right here and they, like, nuzzle in. That's the best because not only is it comfortable, but it smells good. Oh, mm. interesting. Yeah, it's like Very a win-win. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's, like, a girl's hair because that's, you always... Well, smell a girl's hair. I read something somewhere, I don't know how accurate it is, where the reason that evolution has like made it so that females are typically shorter than men is because that's where the pheromones come out for a oh. lot of women, I guess. And so like guys would be more attracted to women that they could smell the top of their heads of. Interesting. Or or is it reverse where um, the pheromones come out of the top of the head because women are shorter? I don't know. Is it the apple or the egg? Or <laughs> 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 Jesus, why were you stood up again? <laughs> Get on a damn shirt, I'm wearing it. That was like one of the all time greatest, I think. <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't even realize you said something wrong until you corrected yourself, and then I heard it back uh, in my head. Uh, well, I get the egg bit, but what's the apple? What, what, I think it's like well, how far from the tree did the apple fall? Yeah, or does something? the apple lay an egg? Yeah, tree. <laughs> you can't kill two birds with one egg. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god. Well, I also want to mention right. that this podcast. It's has to ask anyone out. It's just well, we like, were friends before. Oh, this, we is that your laundry in the background? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> so you'll be able to see my laundry basket when it goes closer to Gavin. I oh, see it. There it yeah, is. There it is. We spread it. And you guys took some out and put it like spread out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was just thinking, I was like, what did I put away to wash this week? <laughs> uh, yeah, that created a lot of anxiety for me. Yeah, you shouldn't let people film in your in your place. In my opinion. Well, if you ever have the chance, you listening at home, you might think, it'll be great. A film crew will come in and my, my place will be famous. They will trash the place. I've never met a film crew that doesn't leave it the way. Oh, mine looked totally, totally fine. Yeah. We, we, it yeah. Was, yeah, it was I guess pretty fine. Good. But you kind of get used to that, especially when you like, go to... It's the worst thing you had to film for a million dollars, but... The most unpleasant one was eating the cake. Although, <laughs> I never told this story. I got knocked unconscious on the set of Million Dollars Butt. You did, what? what? So there was the one where you get attacked by animals, and Max Crumkey was operating a, an eagle or something, and it yeah. had to like bite my neck. So I was like pretending to be scared in bed of this eagle, and then someone else was firing blood, and uh, we shot it, and then I <laughs> blacked out. And when I came to, everyone was like moving the cameras out of the room. Like they're like, "Yeah, we got the shot," 
and I guess they thought I was just acting dead. But I, like, I think he hit my neck in a way that, like, <laughs> the Vulcan death grip. <laughs> oh my god. And it just, like, cut off the blood to my head or something. But I was fully unconscious for, like, 20 or 30 seconds. Oh, I thought you were gonna say minutes. No. <laughs> oh, but Kevin's so, just so, so, a nap. So it was the bird attacking your yeah, neck. Yeah, so I was there like this, and then Max was like, and, I was, and then he wasn't there anymore, and was walking out the door, and they were moving the cameras. I was like, time just skipped. <laughs> like, was I just completely <laughs> unconscious? And I was dizzy for, like, two hours. I don't know what happened. It was a scene. That is so, so weird. Is that, I, is I, this I, the I, take that? Yeah, I I like totally <laughs> fall unconscious. Oh, you kind of do see your head fall a little bit. Yeah, but I was also acting like I was dying, so it was probably combined to me just <laughs> oh my God. nobody noticing. And I didn't tell anyone because I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm dying or something. <laughs> you should so, probably tell someone about that when that happens. Yeah, I was just like so out of it and dizzy for the rest of the day. <laughs> 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 but he was wailing on my jugular. He was like punching me in the neck. With it. And I haven't even told Max. Max, you knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> you almost killed Gavin, Max. That's I, I would actually be interested to see the footage past the end of that cut. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And if they kept rolling and I just kept lying there. Like <laughs> she was just like, <laughs> they're like, all right, great, <laughs> move on. And I'm still there. Like <laughs> if I started snoring, that would be the absolute indicator that I was unconscious. Yeah. Would you snore if you're knocked out, though? A lot of people do. The moment they get knocked out, they're just, like, deep snoring. Yeah. You can't faint if you're lying down, though, right? Because fainting is just the blood getting drained from your head. <sighs> yeah. Or yeah. all going to your I mean, what if, what if you faint from, like, anxiety or something? Or, I don't know, like, faint... Does just, faint mean like, you have you to fall? Like, you could pass out, but I think, like, fainting, yeah, actually, like, falling. Can you faint in your sleep? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, <laughs> you could pa you could pass out in your sleep. You no, could wait. you could die in your sleep if it's if it's oh. day five. Oh. Look at that shirt. That was a masterful segment. You like that? When does that come out, Josh? That comes out in six days. It comes out June nineteenth.